lovely YouTubers, I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make super delicious creamy macaroni and cheese. Now, regular stovetop macaroni and cheese is certainly delicious, but when you bake it and get that golden brown yumminess on top, it's even, even better. And the recipe that I'm going to show you today does exactly that. So let's get started with our ingredients. Over here, I have one quart of milk, two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, one and a half cups divided of shredded Parmesan cheese, so one cup here and the remaining half cup here, two tablespoons of butter, one eight ounce package of cream cheese softened, so I just left it out of the refrigerator for a little bit, and then a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Over here, I have a 16 ounce package of elbow macaroni, which is the quintessential macaroni and cheese shape, which has already been cooked. My oven is behind me, preheated at 350 degrees, and over here I have this large saucepan. So to start, I've put this on low heat, and we are going to begin by melting our butter in here. So just let this melt, and then the next step is to whisk in our flour. When you're adding flour into any sort of liquid, you always wanna do it gradually so that the liquid can absorb the flour, rather than kind of like overwhelming it. So just whisk, whisk, whisk. So we're gonna keep going until this is all in here and incorporated. Now we are going to gradually add in our milk. These little sort of like little balls of flour and butter that you have over here will start to melt into a paste as you incorporate the milk. Now it's gonna be hot, so just let me do half. And at this point you can turn your heat up to medium and help that milk to warm up a little bit and help to keep the butter in the flour nice and melted and pliable so it will all mix together. Okay, so we have medium heat now. And what we're going to do is for the next 20 minutes, we're going to be stirring constantly. You don't have to literally stand here for 20 minutes, but like every few minutes you wanna be whisking and stirring. And we are going to let this mixture cook until it's bubbly and thickened. And then we'll come back in 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. Look how nice and thick and bubbly our flour, milk, and butter mixture is. So we're gonna turn off the heat and we are going to add in the cup of Parmesan. Remember, we've reserved half a cup over there that we're gonna leave to the very end. So add in the Parmesan, the mozzarella, cream cheese, and we're just gonna stir this until it's all nice and incorporated and make sure that that cream cheese is nice and melted in here. Okay, now let's add in our macaroni. Give this a mix till all the cheese is incorporated. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. And the mozzarella gives it this just great stringy, yummy quality. So now we are going to spoon it in to our greased baking dish here. Like look at all this cheesy goodness. My goodness, three different types of cheese in here. Now don't forget, we have the last little bit of Parmesan and we're just gonna sprinkle this over the top and it will get nice and brown and crispy. So speaking of, we're gonna pop it in the oven now, which remember has been preheated at 350 degrees and let it cook for about 30 minutes or until the top is nice and golden brown. Okay, so our macaroni and cheese baked at 350 degrees for 30 minutes and check it out. We have some yummy little golden brown happening at the top all this melty delicious cheese, and the smell in here is fantastic. I cannot wait to dive in. There you have it, that's how you make creamy macaroni and cheese. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at request at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.